This is Amy from Scranton, Pennsylvania. And this is Sally TV. And um, you're watching the, the Omar, Omar Gosh, Gosh TV. TV. <laughs> John's getting nervous over here. <laughs> he keeps seeing all the Vegemite videos that I've been posting, and he has become very curious. If you don't know what Vegemite is, here, show him what it is. That's Vegemite. They don't sell it here in the States. You have to get it. I mean, you could probably get it online. And that's what it looks it's like. It's supposed to go, like, on crackers and bread, and that's not a lot, bro. You should put a little bit more so you could get a, a good... What the hell? Good man. taste. This is what I'm about to eat. <laughs> do it for the vlog, I guess, huh? Do it for the vlog. You can do it. You don't even know if it's nasty. You might actually Bro, really I like it. Bro, I smelled it and... Bro, you, you are Australian. Aren't you Australian on your cousin's mother's side? Could be for all I know. <laughs> Alright, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's stuck to the roof of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great day today. My friend James is going back to Boca Raton today. He leaves on a train. James is leaving from Tampa. It's about an hour from here. We got to leave here in about an hour, hour and a half. And then it's an hour drive. Uh, gonna miss him, man. Hey, good morning. good morning. How are you? Are you excited to go home? Not really, but yes, <laughs> I am and I'm not. I feel you. I miss the kids, but I'll miss you guys. Definitely gonna miss you. With me all the time. I cast out calls too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> This is why you shouldn't text and drive. Look, look what it looks like. That lady is on her phone. She's all over the lanes. Yeah. Is it still on the phone? Get on yep. the phone. We got we got here kind of late. He still has to check in. You're like, bro, you're like 10 minutes early. Get Watch in here. Get in yeah, here. that's why you hug right there. <laughs> See you guys later too. Hey, he's gonna he's time. gonna ride a train back home. It's like a, what three hours? Yeah, like three and a half. Yeah, so I, I want to maybe take a train to him. And uh, but you wouldn't be able to pick me up. I could take an Uber. Okay. Yeah, I have an Uber company. How far is it from your house? Twenty-five minutes. 20, oh, that's, that's not too bad. No, me, what's me you and John will go. You go hop on, on that train? train to another train and brings you right to Boca Raton. You guys want to see inside the train station? I, I brought you guys here once before. Here, let's let's take a peek. Come on. It's like an old school train station. Here. Oh, heavy doors and all. Whoa. I bet you this place has ghosts. I love you. Don't cheat on me, okay? Okay. He minutes delayed, so he said probably one o'clock it's gonna leave. Oh, one o'clock. <laughs> You're like 40 minutes. <laughs> I know. You gotta just That's chill. That's cool. I'll get some pokey stops for my boy, so. Oh, there you go. We got like three of them here. Yeah. Well, bro, I love you, man. Yeah, Thanks for you, staying over. <laughs> driving back right now sorry for the wind noise by the way I noticed these really neat thingies here they're, they're like 16 feet tall it's like jazz music look I'm somewhere right now that used to be a really bad neighborhood in Tampa downtown Tampa and they I mean look they're building like beautiful townhouses right there there's downtown Tampa right behind me I mean they really turned this place upside down I can't believe how nice it is out here you think this grass is real it looks real. It's not. This is, it's like plastic. You think a dog went pee pee here? 
we kind of illegally parked in this parking lot over here you have to you have to pay and we didn't we didn't pay so hopefully my car's still still there if you guys ever get a chance to make it well, down to tampa where oh. <laughs> bro i had to do it I had dude to. my heart stopped for like three seconds all right i, I don't want no ticket <laughs> Pretty nice park job. What do you say? Right outside the, the white lines there. If you're gonna ever come down to Florida, make sure you make it down to the Tampa area. I'll show you around. I'm sure John will show you around. Neat place, especially downtown Tampa. It's it's really it's really nice here. You could actually rent those, what are those called? Those the uh mopeds. No, not the mopeds. Yeah. Oh, segways. Segway. Segway. You can rent those here. They do like Segway tours. You could also rent electric boats and go around the Hillsborough River, which is right next to a really pretty college. That uh, The college was actually originally built in the 1500s, the building was, and it looks like a castle. Super nice. But you gotta come check it out. I've been there a couple times before in a couple previous videos. Okay, we gotta go. There's a lot of cool stuff in front of this house, and it's right across the street from my house. Let's check it out. I already see something I want. I wonder if this works. I've got a ab slide. Hey man, I'm taking your ab slide. <clears throat> Thanks. Hey, does this work? Yeah. The bike works? Yeah. That's all. Damn. That bike actually works 100%. It's I, I don't even, you know, dude, you could grab that right now, put it on Craigslist, mm -hmm. and sell it for 50 bucks, worst case. But the thing is, is like, I just had a garage sale over the weekend. Probably get rid of it myself because I don't have a whole lot of room. I mean, every inch of my house is being used. It's not like I could have a, a weight room. I mean, I would love to turn my garage into like a, look, they're opening up a gym really close to here and that's going to be my new gym so that's it's literally like walking distance to my house so i'm not gonna have to really even have a, a gym but this ab slide thing you know you could this, this you could just put it under the bed throw it in the closet can't do that with that bike look that's how close i live to that guy i just got this in the mail i think it was yesterday somebody sent me this picture uh, actually i had a few of you i mean uh, sometimes somebody might see something that's trending it's kind of like a viral thing and they think of me and i appreciate you guys thinking of me like they know that you guys know that i like drones so i got maybe like 10 of you that sent me the picture with the flying ghost and i made a video about it well i had a few of you guys send me this same picture where i'll just show you right now this was the picture i got sent by a few of you guys i know uh, comment down below if you sent me this picture because i had it on twitter instagram i had a few of you guys it was kind of trending online well they actually sell this like this is legit real and i bought one i bought a chicken harness so i am going to try it out on my chickens see which chicken is down to let me take her for a walk and maybe take her for a walk let's take a chicken for a walk what do you say hey baby oh, all right who's down to let me walk them they think I have a treat. <laughs> My first choice would be Momo. I would take her, but I don't think she'll fit. Who, Raven? Oh, dude. I was just looking in the in the egg box. Yeah. One of Raven's eggs in there. It's it's that little. <laughs> so you see all these like big chicken eggs, and then you see this little this little. Turd. Looks like a turd. <laughs> dude. This is hilarious, a freaking harness for a chicken. <laughs> All right. I'm going to walk my chicken. All right. <laughs> All right I gotta train her a little bit. Come on. Come on, she's doing good. Well, let's go through the house. I got some worms for you. Come on. Here. It's a treat for you. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Come on. 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 Come
with this chicken harness you kind of have to like let them take you for a walk and you might have to pick them up a few times just until they get used to it then you could probably pull on them and they'll walk with you because if I pull on her now she just kind of drags her feet and she's like no I don't want to go I think it's like that when you're walking a dog for the first time I think it's a lot of fun take your chicken for a walk I'm gonna try this like every day so she can get used to it yep Yeah, she don't get to eat grass in her backyard because they eat it all. He looked at us once, looked again, and was like, wait, what? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> and he just kept staring the entire time. She's having fun. If I didn't have her on that leash right now, you know how much fun we'd be having trying to chase her? Yeah. Right she through would, them woods. She would dip out. Gwen does something though that a lot of, actually, yeah, most chickens that, that love you, they do this. When you get close to them, they kind of like, they hunker down, you know what I mean? Like they'll, yeah. they'll bend their legs and kind of fall on the ground. Like, and it's kind of like a submission. It's, it's, you know, showing that they love you. A bit ago, I gave one of my dogs that I rescued to my buddy Sid. Well, I'm going to tell him that I got another puppy for him. And, and we could also visit, we could also visit Sweetie. Come on, come say hi. Uh, I got you guys another puppy. We have Sweetie. How, how do you like your new puppy? <laughs> he told me he saw somebody walking down the street with a chicken on a harness. She's so cute. I miss you so much, oh my goodness, I miss you. Look how excited she is. <laughs> I, I got a new puppy for you, Sid. You don't want a new puppy? No. No. <laughs> No. Hey, oh sweet, sweetie God. wants to smell her butt. Here, go smell her butt. <laughs> hey, she's like the same. Actually, I think the chicken's bigger than sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. I miss you. I miss you. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, what are you doing walking a chicken? Well, I just thought it'd be good exercise. <laughs> you know? You guys are cleaning my gutters. I just saw it all now. Yeah. I'm walking down the street walking a chicken. <laughs> Look at this. What a lazy bum. Not you, Max. I smell freaking chicken poop. Is it you? This is kind of a work in progress. Pretty sure I have to practice a little bit more. Um, these guys are hungry though. Let me know if you want to see some more chicken walking videos. Maybe if I can get really good at it, or she can get really good at it, and me, I'll go to like a park or something. Gotta shake the bag. Here they come. All right, there you go, Gwen. You did good, Gwen. Here, a little treat for you. Uh. <laughs> she went for the worm that wasn't a worm. Uh. And <laughs> not that worm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at little Raven. Raven. I'd love to take her for a walk, but she would slip right out of that harness. Right out of it. If you guys have a chicken and you want to take them for a walk, you get one of those harnesses on Amazon or eBay. I would suggest maybe walking them in your yard a little bit. They got to get used to it. It's just like walking a cat. Actually, it's just like walking a puppy. You know, they don't know how to walk on a leash yet. You have to kind of train them. Well, the same thing with... With Gwen, I kind of had to let her walk me. And most of the time, chickens, they just, they want to go in the woods and dig in the grass and stuff. But it was a lot of fun. I thought it was cool.